Hey, this is Dave from HouseBurns.com. Together with my brother Rich and son Caleb, we show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a lot of money in the process. Today, we're gonna take on gutter repair. And this one certainly does need repairing. The gutter replacing that we've done in the past has been with big box gutters, with seams in the middle and connection points. Today, we're gonna take a seamless gutter and replace that whole length, which is 21 feet long. And you can see this homeowner uh, hasn't really cared too much about his gutter, but we're gonna go ahead and, and fix this one up brand new with one continuous run of gutter. We have a seamless gutter, and we had this dropped uh, by a guy who you know builds his own gutters. When I, we did the prior video, and we used a big box door sections that are 10 feet long each. Um, certainly you're gonna have more points of failure because you have to connect each of those 10 foot sections. This one's 21 feet long, so using those, we would have two points of failure, two seams that you'd have to worry about. Uh, in our previous video, a lot of people, a lot of the gutter guys were saying, hey, you know, it's gonna leak everywhere and it's gonna, it's gonna uh, fail much, so much sooner. So the option that was suggested was just have someone drop a seamless gutter at your house. You can still hang it, this is still a DIY project, but you take away the chance of it leaking in the middle and uh, so you kind of get the best of both, both worlds. It's lower in cost, but uh, a, a better option as opposed to always having uh, seams all over. This is a comparison, you could be the judge. Uh, but we're gonna give this a shot and see how well it works. When the guy dropped the seamless gutter off at my brother's farm, uh, he gave us the clamps and the screws with it. So that's all stuff we didn't have to, well, it came with the, the singular purchase. So it's something to remember. It's gonna be way faster compared to having to pair them all together and. Our job first is obviously remove the gutter. We're going to start by taking these downspouts off. All right, do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and take out these brackets. There we go. If it's hung typically, each of the brackets goes into the, the rafter tails at the end. Um, if they miss the rafter tails, it's just going into fascia, but this one seems pretty strong. And the rafter tails are 16 inches on center, so every 16 inches or so is where you're gonna have a screw. And you can tell, once you get the screws out, it's very wobbly. <laughs> Alright, what we're doing is we're going to mark the old holes so we can off the old gutter and that way we'll know where the rafter tails are. It'll be a pretty easy match. Oh, there's the other one. All right, so we're just going to start a couple holes here from the back side just to get it started. All right, so when we get ready to do this, that's how it's going to work. So slide this buddy over here. And we're kind of going down at an angle because we've got that drip edge up there that we have to worry about. You ideally want your drip edge overlapping the gutter. So we're gonna just do this at a, this is for hanging purposes. We can readjust it later. Okay, that one's there. So we're just gonna do like two or three screws across the gutter so we can hang it. And then we'll worry about putting the rest on. The rest would be a lot easier after the fact. And these go in, they have a, a hook on them, and that's going to hook under the front lip of the gutter, like that, and then you bring it down to your, see, because it, then it, it's got a good, strong hold to it.
Okay. And one more. We have this gutter came sealed. We need a downspout hole. All right, so we're gonna put this transition to the downspout. And so we just need a, a hole in the gutter that will allow this to go in. Then we just got to place this in here, like so. All right, we're just putting this indoor-outdoor gutter sealant on here, and we'll be happy as a clam. That's when we push this up here. All right, thanks, sir. All right. Okay, I'm good about there. Good. Looks good. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. We put one screw and then we can just feed it up the drip edge or down the drip edge, however it's gonna work. Gotcha. We're checking level. We just want to make sure that end is higher than this end because this is where our downspout is. And it doesn't have to be super exaggerated, just downhill. Like part of the problem we had in the la with the last gutter is there's a there was a, a sag in the middle of the gutter and probably with all the leaves that got gathered in there and it just being heavy, it, it helped distort the gutter pretty badly. So now we're trying to make sure this is continually downhill and it's a little bit of a challenge, but we're tucking the back edge of the gutter under the, the drip edge as far as we can and uh, just keep that downhill slope. This is an absolutely amazing tool for doing something like this. Otherwise, you'd have to do it with a hacksaw or something ridiculous like that. So these multi-tools are, if you don't have one, they're amazing. You can pick one of those up on Amazon. We're Amazon affiliates. We can earn with qualifying purchases and it doesn't cost you a penny more. So thanks a lot. All right, so there's the finished product. And the middle of this roof has a sag in it. And if the last gutter guy just followed the drip edge, that's why there was, might have been that bow in it. And so as you go further to the right here, you can see how much sag there is because this gutter is just shy of level. It's just a little bit out of level, um, but the drip edge d definitely is lower in the middle over there, so we had to we had to be this far away from the drip edge on this side, but we pulled the drip edge out so the water will come hit the edge of the drip edge there and fall into the gutter as opposed to running down the fascia. But that's, you don't trust your roof line, trust the level. see we finished if you come back a little bit from here you can see how we snugged it up as far as we could on the drip edge on the left and you can see it's pretty far away from the shingles on the right but that is literally just off of level um, anyway uh, what I said before trust the level don't trust the roof line because your roof line may not be straight may not be level or straight uh, and this one was neither level or straight Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We've got lots more videos coming. Thanks for viewing, and we'll see you next time.